I'm Keith Schaefer from the Oil & Gas Investments Bulletin. My job is to give my subscribers the best money-making ideas in energy in 2019. So where do I think that is? Well, today I'm going to give you a few ideas. If you watched my last video, you'll know that I'm quite neutral on oil this year. I see oil, WTI averaging in the low to mid 50s with Brent averaging probably in the very low 60s. So that's not very good news for oil producers. Most oil producers need higher prices and a little more volatility to make uh, grab investor interest. But there are a couple exceptions to that. And I'm gonna tell you about a couple right now. One big factor for 2019, I think, with stable but lower oil prices is that you need to be in larger producers. So there are actually several very large oil producers right now who are making a killing at these prices. So they are deleveraging their balance sheet and that alone is gonna cause stocks to go up this year if oil prices stay in the low to mid 50s, like I believe. I just, sent out, I just sent out a full report on one of my favorites to my subscribers just before Christmas. And if you wanna have a look at this, I'd urge you to sign up for a risk-free trial from our Oil & Gas Investments Bulletin. The two other oil stocks that I'm very keen on this year that are absolute cash generators like no other company I've seen in this sector. In fact, they produce more cash than most companies in any other sector. And what that means is they pay out their wells, their multi-million dollar wells, in just weeks to months. And so they are cash machines like few other businesses are anywhere in the world. So those are two oil stocks that even with oil in the low 50s and Brent in the low 60s, I still want to increase my positions in those stocks this year. But for the most part, that's it for oil stocks. I think that all small cap oil stocks should really be avoided just because I don't think the oil price will be high enough to get institutional capital down into the small cap arena. And the other thing, particularly in the US, is that most oil stocks are actually very gassy and get gassier as time goes on. So I'm still in that gas bear because of fast growing US production. So I don't see any big increase in shale oil stocks. So there's only two or three in the whole sector that I'd be looking at. And you can, again, take out a risk-free trial for our subscriptions to see which ones they are. No, I, th I think the big theme in 2019 for energy is actually going to be in the midstream sector, the pipeline stocks. And they have, I think, two things going for them that really together make for an investor's dream. One is they're quite hated, particularly the MLPs, the Master Limited Partnerships that have paid out big dividends over the years. The management teams of these pipeline stocks are actually learning their lesson. They are now living within cash flow, spending within cash flow. Now with all this fast rising US production in both oil and gas, they're seeing their free cash flow go up significantly at a time when investor sentiment is still at all time lows. In fact, here in early 2019, I think we've got one of the best opportunities in this sector we have seen literally in years. So what happened in late 2018 was oil prices collapsed, high yield debt collapsed, and the whole stock market collapsed. So what you saw were those three factors throwing pipeline stocks to the mat at a time when their cash flows are actually improving quite dramatically. And that's the opportunity that I see for investors in 2019.